Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to fill, film all of my Rubik's Cube collection. And trust me, I have a lot of Rubik's Cubes. Let's start out with the ones that can't fit inside my cube case because I put too much in. The first up is an 8x8 Rubik's Cube. Didn't think we would kick it off with a big cube. But here you go, the 8x8. You should be kicking this off with a 1x1. One one. Next up is a Rubik's Cube I got two years ago. Which I don't really play this. This should go in my anti collection, which I have started yet. Credit to C Z3 cubing if I ever start that. Anyways, it shows random animals from the zoo. Next up is a 7x7 seven seven Rubik's Cube. 33.01 seconds I set this cube with. And then we have a Lego Rubik's Cube. Next are, the, next are the cubes that could fit in my case. Next are the cubes that fit in my cube case. First up, we have a, like, I think this is Chi Yi. 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. back next up is a seven by seven rubik's cube if you want to know learn how to do the scramble that i got on my on my 33.01 seven by seven single you can watch it there you can you can try the scramble and see how fast you can do it Here's the scrambles that I had. So if you want to try this scramble, try it for yourself. If you have a solve seven by seven. The next one is a, I think Cyclone Boys two by two. I ripped over that and back when I was a non-cuber, I twisted the corners a lot on this Rubik's Cube. I just rediscovered it very recently, so let's move on to the next cube. Next one I think is Chi Yi, two by two. Next up is oh my god, this is an, this is the biggest cube you're gonna see in this video. Eleven by eleven. I only care about the end by end. Then my trusted Gan Air eleven Rubik's cube. I'm gonna be sogged. I'm gonna, I'm so sogged. I took a bath with this yesterday. Hold up. That's a 10 by 10 Rubik's Cube. And of course, the one by one. Cubers be luck. Bro, I almost lost the one by one Rubik's Cube there. The next two are are going to be shoved by side because they're equally identical one by ones. They're identical one by ones. What's this? This connects to your phone! I am coughing too. Next up is this cube that I got from the zoo. Another chi yi. Another probably chi yi. Now this is a two by two by three. That I think Chi Yi made. Note, I bought, my family bought all of these Rubik's Cubes. I, 
as I am not, as I am not a, as I am not 13. Next up is this 5x5, five five, and it's, and I can't find a piece. Next up is this probably Chi 4x4. Four four. And next up is this probably Chi 2x2. Two two. Next up, Duncan makes Rubik's Cubes apparently. I have their 3x3. Three three. That's all of the, of the cubes that were in my cube case. This video does not have any sponsors, BTW. Although the case does say Mo Yu on it. No, none of the cubes in this video are made by Mo Yu. Oh wait, we have a whole nother box of twisty puzzles. We have three we have three boxes. These were all made by Rubik's, just so you know. Let's start out with this. This Rubik's Cube is not actually a Rubik's Cube. I think it's a variation of the Yoshimoto Cube. But I just don't know what kind it is. My other channel, Chicago Kid 2014, has a video on another variation of this. But for right now, I'm listing it as Fidget. Next up is this Rubik's Cube that I haven't really scrambled because it twists when you try to scramble it. It, as it is a stress ball, AKA stress cube, LOL. Last up for the fidget toys is this not so twisty puzzle. In fact, the fastest, the fastest turning the fastest turning Rubik's Cube I've ever seen. The fastest thing I've ever seen. Oh, as the next Rubik's Cube is, we are going to start off with the small, not really cubes. First up is this Rubik's Christmas tree, which I'm gonna solve, which I'm going to attempt a quick solve on. Notice is that he's almost making a, a video that he looks like he, ins he got inspired by Sweet Timmy. I solved the Christmas tree. twist an a side Rubik's cube a side Rubik's cube a side Rubik's cube here's how you do the pattern it was in as you can see and to wrap things off I actually have some floppy cubes. I actually have some floppy cubes. I actually have a floppy cube. We actually have this Rubik's floppy cube. Now, now on to the puzzles everybody actually cares about. This is the Tower Rubik's. Yeah, it's tiled. And the whole color, and the whole freaking color scheme is wrong. What? What Rubik's? You gotta put yellow, white, and yellow together. Come on, this was really messed up. I even have two of them that ended up be being shape shifted because me and my brother found out that the Rubik's Tower Cube could. 
The guy would really be really funny to to make this a cube that you have to get into the and get into the solve state would actually be a normal two by two by four. So it's kind of like a half or and here's another floppy cube. Now I'm through two by twos. Wait. Still have another puzzle. Rubik's pyramid. Rubik's pyramid. Not gonna call this a Rubik's triangle because I'm not an autocuber. These cubes are for non-cubers. I don't know why I have these. I do a relay on all of them. Just try to get my Rubik's finger tricks in. Wait. No, it can't be solved. Oh yeah, I solved it. Next, now onto the cubes everyone actually carries about. This two by two. I actually have an exact duplicate. Black cube. Which I think is supposed to be the Rubik's Phantom. Ow. This 3x3? Three three? Yeah, I recommend the Rubik's speed like Tingman does. Oh, and I just fixed this one recently. This is a 1980 Rubik's Cube, which which is from a, a school that my mom works at. In fact, one of the red stickers peeled off, so I put a so I put a red sticker back on. So I made a sticker out of paper. Oh no. Ting Men said do not buy this. And this was actually my first Rubik's Cube. This is my first Rubik's Cube ever. My first Rubik's Cube that was actually ever given, that I've ever received. And of course, the Rubik's 5x5. Five five. I actually got this one very recently. Time to put all the Rubik's puzzles back in the box. cube which I do not know how to solve any of these mods this is another cube that was branded by Rubik this is another cube that was branded by Rubik I think it's meant to be as um, a crepulix fusion so far it's the biggest cube Wait, is that bigger than the one by 11 pulls out his cube case to get the 11th out of it. Yeah, it's bigger than the 11 by 11. Do not slide over. Get it? Get it 11. I will not let you slide over. Ouch. Yeah. The troubles of zipping this. Jeez. Alan, this is a mirror cube that I modded, that I modded so it could be a meme. I modded this mirror cube to act like a meme. So this is a mod I made. This is a Mefford's ghost cube. 
This is a Mefferts 3x3x3 Ghost Cube. This was actually in my... This was actually my first and only Ghost Cube I've ever gotten. Another Ghost Cube branded by Mefferts. This is the Ghost Extreme, which I sometimes call the Ghost Minx. Because it kind of looks like a Minx. Like a Mega Minx. Yeah, it's a mod of the Mega Minx. Mefferts. Thanks. A uh, Duncan makes 2x2 two two Pyraminxes, apparently. I solved the blue side, but I can't get to the rest of the cube. A Nike Ball. I bought this at Target. Wait, those are supposed to be the mods that I made. Wait, I think the two by two. Wait, the Cyclone Boys, I, I the the cube that was I think was branded by Cyclone Boys two by two. I think I modded that cube so like it could be a meme. I'm never gonna give you up on that. Like yeah, we're ghastly. Uh, what I think is Chi Yi Mega Banks. I don't know what Chi Yi's logo is. I don't know what brand this is or what this is. But this, the turning has got to be terrible. I don't know who made that. Another what I think is Chi Yi Mega Minx. And, and to finish it off, we have another what I think is Chi Yi Mega Minx. Okay, now on to the cubes that anybody actually cares about. Uh, I don't know what brand this is, but this is definitely, by shapeshifting, a mirror cube. This is definitely I, what I think is Chi Yi Fisher Cube. However, for a while before I got this, for a while when I got this, I really thought this was a windmill cube. But it ended up being a Fisher Cube. I don't know why this was in the mod box, but this is definitely my brother's. I'm gonna eat it outside so that Leo could get it. Leo, I found a cube that was in your cube collection in my room, in my basket. Okay. I wrote a trash history. No, you got one. Daddy, I just. I got close to. Do you have one? Yes, I do. Okay. I'm making sure because I remember when I had you solve it for me. I solved it. Okay, after all that, I found another one of those ball things that turns way better. This was actually the first mod thing in the mod box that I received. I received this back in 2019 as a fidget for kindergarten when I was getting a little bit bored but up to date yeah it's really good yeah it's really good three years later yeah it's really good four years later this is a Pyraminx branded by Mefferts what non-cubers do and trust me I'm not a non-cuber come on Yet another, what I think is Chi Yi Fisher Cube. <coughs> I think this is a windmill cube from Chi Yi, I think. What I think is Chi Yi and what I think it is a windmill cube. Yeah, there's no way this is not a windmill cube. This is 
an electronic. No. Oh, and why not add another, what I think is cheese, scoob. Oh, let's go to the, back to the mirror cubes. Back to the mirror cubes. I own a lot of, I own a lot of non-cubic. Another chi, what I think is chi ye scoob. Coming up is, I think this is a windmill cube from chi ye that I haven't quite scrambled yet. We are going back to, this is an ivy cube from mole thing, I guess. Next time we solve this. Shh, I'm filming. Okay, my brother just challenged me to solve a Rubik's Christmas tree. So let's take this part of the video to dedicate to doing that. Easy! I'm gonna eat the cube. Solved it! If you can't hear that sound, then you're probably safe. Then you're probably a noob. Cause you couldn't hear an ivy cube. What better way to do another is then another one I think is cheesy ivy cube. I have solved the ivy cube twice. First time it took me over five months. Second time I actually solved it immediately. Next up is Mefford's Pyraminx Duo. If you made a Pyraminx, then you gotta have a duo version. Here, here's that cool thing that I just did. Solved. What's next? A fidget spinner. Probably the last fidget cube that's going to be in this video. And probably the easiest to do checkerboard on. Mofing apparently. It's a mofing apparently. This next one should go in my anti collection because this is a Mofing Rubik's Cube IDK. What this is, IDK, what this is. This is a Geobender BTW. Oh, wait, wrong cube. Square one! Let's go! This is an amazing cube. Probably the best thing that probably Chi Yi has made for this in this video. That my parents bought. Next up is not really a Rubik's cube, it's kind of a snake. Your goal is to get it back into a solved cube. Checkered cube. I haven't really gotten around to solve that. I haven't really gotten around to solve that. This is another football cube. No, yes. Yes, this is the actual name of the cube. And finally, the first mod that I made showing how I made it. The Rubik's Cube that I see that I literally on purpose took outside and removed the centers. Now, I was going to make this into a void cube, but, but, but just watching Jay Kira's video, 
I am on a risk to break the Rubik's Cube. BTW, I lost the centers. So overall, two of the two of the things ended up being mods by me. And now let's dedicate let's dedicate to those fallen cubes. Cubes that couldn't quite make the cut because they they couldn't show up because they were broken. Oh, you stack Matt! <laughs> there are a total of five cubes. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Five cubes I couldn't make the cut because they were broken. First up is Calvin's Evil Twin 4x4. This is just not a normal 4x4. We haven't gotten around to fixing any of these cubes. This is what it would look like if it was not broken. <coughs> the second up is what I think is Chi Yi 2x2. Two two. And unfortunately, wait, maybe I can fix this, then it goes up to my official cube collection. Chee, I'm sorry you made it in here. Or what I think. Yeah, it's secure! I fixed it! Going to my cube collection. Let's put the cheat the one I think is Chi Yi 2x2 two two, in the cubes that I that I can't fit in my cube case because my cube case is full. Our third cube that we haven't fixed yet is the Chi Yi Penguin 2x2. Two two. It is broken and we haven't gotten around to fix it yet. Wait, this is not Chi Yi. Did I say Chi Yi? In fact, this was not even made by Chi Yi. This was actually a Yuzin. Yuzin. It's sad to see it sitting in pieces. Number four is a random cube that I found. Hey, I could actually put this in my collection right now. Hooray! This was actually my first cube. Let's go to the to what I think is Chi's cube from my Rubik's cube collection. The last cube we haven't gotten around to fix is a 9 by 9 which is unfortunate. For an obvious specific, specific reason, why two pieces, why only two pieces are, are broken of it, is not because of a fall, not because of a very high fall, but from from Leo. Leo accidentally broke this cube because of a lock. Because I think it was a lock up. Because I think it was a lock up. I can't fix this cube. Nor can I put it in my cubing collection. So three cubes are in the cube. It's what I call. The cube, the actual hospitals. There's an imposter among us. Anyways, this was my nearly 30 minute long YouTube video. Subscribe, share, like. I don't think you can share my videos anymore. But bye!